Okay, so this is example three from page 834. So uh, page 834, example three. Okay, this is the standard form of a plane. This is in your book. I believe it's on page 833. Okay. Uh, A times x minus x1. Uh, B times Y minus Y1, C times Z minus Z1, and, and planes always equal, uh, planes equal zero. So we have zero over here. Um, you're going to get X, Y, and Z, the X1, Y1, Z1 from a point, and you're going to get the A, B, C from what's called a normal vector. Okay, a normal vector right here. All a normal vector is, if I can draw a plane here, Okay. A normal vector is going to be perpendicular to the plane. It's going to be coming out of the plane. So every plane has a whole bunch of normal vectors, an infinite amount of more normal vectors. They also have normal vectors going the other way. See if I can try to draw this. It'll be right there. So you have a normal vector going the other way. Either of these, the blue or the green, would work for A, B, and C. Also, so would this vector over here. Okay? Or vector over here. Anyways, all you need is A vector coming straight out of, of the plane. It's called a normal vector. Okay? So, uh, in example three, they don't give us a vector. They give us three points. And I didn't graph these. Uh, perfectly in three dimensions. I just put one point here, one point here, and then one point up here. Okay. For some problems, you've got to be really meticulous about how you graph these points. But for the plane problem, when you were trying to find the equation of a plane, just put one on each side of each other like this. Okay. So what are we going to need to solve this problem? Well, we have three points. Any of these points will work for x1, y1, Z1. Just pick a point for these three values. However, for A, B, and C, we need a vector that's coming, uh, if the, these three are on a plane, we need a vector that's coming right out of the plane, right at us here. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, pause the video, see if you can figure it out on your own. Uh, if not, um, well, here we go. Here's how you're going to do it. You're going to find this vector, Okay, and then you're going to find this vector. And we learned uh, a couple lessons ago that if I cross this vector with this vector, call it V, if I cross these two vectors, right, then I get what's called a, uh, their cross product, and that cross product is orthogonal to both of these vectors, which also makes it a normal vector for this plane. Okay, so we need vector u and vector v. We're going to take the cross product of those two, and that will equal our a, b, and c. So, how do we get vector u? Well, this would be the terminal point. This would be the initial point. So, I'm going to set the next step up. Okay, hopefully you can do it on your own. I'm just going to pause this video and set that step up. Okay, so here's where I left off. We're trying to figure out what U and V are. So I've got that right here. I've got uh, this point minus this point for U. So negative 2 minus 0 is negative 2. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. So that's that vector. That's vector U. goes from U, this point to this point. Vector v going from this point to this point. Okay, is, uh, 2, 1, 1 minus 0, 4, 1. So 2 minus 0, 1 minus 4 is negative 3, 1 minus 1 is 0. So these are the two vectors you get. Okay, u and v. Now we have to take the cross product of those two. So here I have that set up. i, negative j, positive k. To get this 9, it's going to be negative 3 times 0 minus 3 times negative 3, 9. To get this negative 6, it's negative 2 times 0 
minus 3 times 2, negative 6. And lastly, to get 12, it will be negative 2 times negative 3 is 6, minus negative 3 times 2, so 6 minus a negative 6, you get a positive 12. So these, this is going to be your A, B, and C. And then all you simply have to do to get your uh, standard form of the plane is pick one of these three points up here. So for us, um, we'll pick a different point than the book. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. We can just pick the same point in the book. The book picks, looks like, 2, 1, 1. So uh, X, or excuse me, A is first. So it's 9 times X minus 2. My point is 2, 1, 1. Plus, plus 6 times y minus 1, plus 12 times uh, z minus 1. Write this in a different spot. Whoops. Um, 12 times z minus 1. All of this equals 0. So your last step is to multiply all of this out and then get it equal to zero. So you get 9x. Actually, the book does one more step. We'll go ahead and do that, too. So you see how each of these numbers is divisible by 3? We could have done that back here. You can divide 3 out of each of those. So this can be 3, this will be 2, this will be 4. So now you get 3x minus 6, just by rainbowing these out. So I'll get 2y minus 2. 4z minus 4 equals 0. 3x plus 2y plus 4z. Combining these terms, negative 8 minus 12 equals 0. This is the equation of your plane.